What's going on YouTube? Just right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to block iOS updates from downloading and of course from installing on your device running iOS 13 all the way up to the latest iOS 13 version, which currently is 13.4 beta. Anyways, this method doesn't require a jailbreak. It's completely free. And it's actually working pretty fine. And it's actually the only working method for the moment because the tvOS profiles are no longer working. You can no longer install tvOS profiles to block updates on iOS 13. They device would simply block them. So basically, as you can see here, currently, if I go ahead here to the uh, general settings, you can see that my device actually is able to search for updates. And you can see that it's able to find them. And even though the automatic update is switched off, it will download the update in the background, and it will try to install it if it's plugged in at the night, and it has full charge. So you actually may end up with an updated device, even if you don't want that. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. I'm going to actually use an application called DNS Cloak, which is completely free and available in the App Store for everybody. And as I said, this doesn't require to be jailbroken. Although I do have a jailbreak in here, you can see that it's not currently active. So it basically just crashes at this point. So uh, yeah, nothing in there. So basically what you need to do is to go ahead and search for DNS cloak in here and you have to download it. Now this has multiple uses. It has actually the capability to select various DNS servers. But one of the important things that this application can do and it can do very well is to set blacklisted domains, which means that we can actually block Apple's website or part of website that sends out the updates. So that's exactly what we're going to do. But in order to be able to do that, I definitely recommend it to head over to my forum in here. I have a link in the description down below where you can actually find a file called the uh, iOS block list, which is basically containing all the uh, sources that you have to block because that application that I showed you, the uh, DNS clock, actually requires a file with the links you want to block. So basically you can download that file with all of the Apple servers that provide iOS updates from here on the forum. The link will be in the description down below. However, don't press on it and just open it because it will open the file like this. You're going to actually have to press on it and keep pressing until you see something like this. And then of course you have to press download linked file. So the second one in here, we press it. And as you can see, the file has been downloaded to our files in there. So that's basically what you need. Now that you have the file from my forum, you have to go back and install the application if you haven't already. And if you did, you have to open it. Now, as you can see, it looks like this. Don't get scared. It's nothing very major. You have to press the menu bar in here and you're going to see a couple of things. Now you have to enable connect on demand. This is important because this means that the application will stay awake and it will basically prevent any connection leaks. So it's like a VPN that stays always on. Now, this will create a VPN profile on your phone, but the VPN profile is actually local. So it's only created so that the DNS server can actually be implemented. None of your traffic goes into the application server or anything like that. And you can even enable the VPN logo if you want, but if you don't, you can disable it. And then of course you have the important part, the blacklist and the whitelist. The blacklist in here you press and you enable blacklist. So this is the uh, functionality. And as you can see, now that we downloaded that file, we can select it in here. And that's basically it. If you want logs and stuff like that, you can enable them there. But that's really all you need to do with the blacklist. Now we go back into the application and we need to actually select a proper DNS server with no logs and actually a fast one so that your websites load normally. And I would definitely recommend you to go with the Cloudflare one, which is available if you search for Cloudflare. So basically the Cloudflare here, you have to select this one. And of course it says no logs. And this is actually the very fast 1.1.1.1 server. So we're going to say use the server in here. We're going to allow it if it says so. And at this point, you're going to say starting DNS service. Now the application may hang on this the first time. So all you have to do is to close it and then of course open it again and it should be able to load pretty fine. Now I'm going to press that square again and the uh, play button so that I start again the server and press no thanks in here. At this point the application will have no ads whatsoever and it will stay active even if you close it like this. And now if I go here to settings the iOS should finally be blocked and you don't even have to reopen the application or anything like that. It stays active in the background and every time there is a connection it will filter that so that no Apple server can reply if it's updates. So we go here to general software updates. And as you can see, it tries to search, but it will not be able to find anything. It will stay like that for a minute or so until it times out. And then of course, we're going to get an error that no update can be downloaded or something like that. So this is actually very, very good. As I said, the tvOS profile method doesn't work anymore. And this is the only method that works on both jailbroken and non jailbroken devices. So yeah, as you can see here, unable to check for updates, an error occurred while checking for software updates. 
updates. So that's basically it, no updates for us. So at this point, we're sure that the device will no longer update on its own. Thank you for watching, I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Check the description down below for everything you need, including a link to my forum so you can download the uh, block list and of course the link to the application in the App Store and peace out.